Hello YouTube, this is Flightsome Guy, and uh, for this video, uh, Belgio and I decided to dispense with any sort of realism regarding flight simulation, and we figured we'd just go ahead and play this for what it is, which is a computer game, and uh, we thought we'd go ahead and uh, do a multi-session shared cockpit flying the T-45C Goshawk uh, through the Grand Canyon. Um, I initially uh, had plans to do this a while back, uh, but obviously uh, Bell Geode had a different plan compared to mine because what we went through was not what I was expecting. Having said that, he was flying, I was just coming along for the ride, and we had a lot of fun. So sit back, relax, and enjoy! Because I'm seeing this gauge like, move all over the place, it's acting all squirrely, I don't know what the heck this is. Ah, uh, screw it. All right, I'm going to turn on the engines. Go ahead. And also get us some lights here so there that way go. they can at least find us when we're, you know, at the bottom of the canyon, Colorado River. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm being pessimistic, mind you. I've just tried this enough times, and I think I've died more than I've made it through. But at least we're not in the Tomcat, because I can't make it through here. <laughs> yeah, Tom, the Tomcat is too big and bulky. Uh... And I certainly can't put the wing slick back, otherwise I would never make those corners. Tell me something. Mm. The F-16 or the Tomcat, neither plane has ever killed, has ever scored a kill in a dog, in a, in a, uh, with a gun in a dogfight, have they? Um, with a gun, I do not think so. The 14 has scored kills with missiles. Short range, not the Phoenix. I don't think the Phoenix has ever, has ever scored a kill. Uh, the Phoenix has never been fired in anger. The Phoenix was fired testing, and yeah, they had six out of six kills, but that doesn't That wasn't testing, really yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Plan is loaded. I see it in my MFD in the back here. Yep. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and raise myself up a little bit. There you go. Okay. So I can get a better view. Alright. Um, I think everything is pretty much set. Okay. Flaps down one, please. Flaps one. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Lights are on, gears looking fat. Do we have enough gas? Um, I think so. Yes. yes. I, uh, like I said, we had to, we had, uh, we had to make, make the gas about 60% so that there's less quote unquote ballast gotcha. on the plane so you have a little bit more maneuverability because we only have one engine, not two. The, uh, the, the uh, Eurofighter should handle this really, really nice. Has a power, oh, yeah. power of F 15, maneuverability of the F 16. So. Right. All right, and I just armed our ejection seat. Not that that's really going to help us in FSX, but you never know. Does does the ejection seat work in FSX? No. That's what <laughs> I works, thought. So. Yes, but yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so where are we? What is our altitude? Um, we are, Our altitude is... What? That's not right. No, it's not. That's Hang why on. I'm looking at the HUD and everything to try and see if I can figure out what's going on with that. That's it not says right. 4320 on the hood, so I'm going to go by that. I'm not going by the steam gauge, which says we are at 10,000 10, feet. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, I have the brakes on, and are we ready to go for broke? We're ready to go. All right, well, if you're a religious man, now would be a good time to pray, because I'm going <laughs> brakes down and throttles up. All right. And we're off like a prom dress. We're already squirting all over the place. Look at that. Look at that. Straighten up, damn you. You got it. Oh, my God. Seriously? Are you taking off from the outside again? No, I'm inside. Okay. Wouldn't matter anyway. I'm still getting across here. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Alright. We are up, and we are pointing in the wrong direction. Why are we heading south? That's where the, uh, the the simulator put us. So if we need oh, to. No wonder I've got a crosswind. Okay, well that explains everything then. All right. Okay, according so. to my uh, thing here, let me go ahead and uh, see here. Uh, damn it. Um, Here's where we're going. We're gonna hang a left. There we go. We go left at Albuquerque. Which is nowhere remotely close to where we are. Alright, um, let me watch our speed here. We're at, what, 206? Um, let me see. I've never flown back here before, so I don't know where the speed is. Uh, so there it is. It's on the left. Uh, 235. Alright, 
Yeah, we are going downwind now. We'll pull it back from full military power here. Do you see that dam off to the left side, probably about our 10 o'clock? Ah, uh, yes, I see it. That's the start of the canyon. So. Okay, so you're going to have to drop, oh, you're going to turn around and drop down there? Uh-huh. I'm making a downwind and then I'm going to try and see if I can get us underneath that break. See how well that works. Yeah, this could be a comedy of errors. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've got your life insurance made up, Mr. Flightson guy, because, yeah. You have any can't fly under it. What do you mean you can't, you can't fly under a dam, but you can fly under the bridge in front of it. Uh, you don't see the bridge? All right, yeah, I see it. Okay. Then you're going to fly those canyons. Oh, wow. Yeah, now you see what I was talking about. Oh, wow. Okay, so let me ask you this. Um, what's your uh, what's the speed that you plan on doing this thing? Uh, you can't be going very fast. No. And no, you prob you'd probably be do well to have flaps. Um, probably around 2 to 250. If I have to drop below 200, we are going to drop into the Colorado River. Alright, so, swing around, you can see the dam dead ahead. Yeah. I'm going to drop us to idle, and I'm going to try and see if I can line us up with the center of the dam, so that way we'll go under the bridge. Okay. See how well this works. Take a look at the airport. Yeah, there's not much there, just a runway. Yeah, that's why I told you to download that thing. Yeah. But you can't see the town around it, though, right? Um... Okay, we are just about lined up, so... And here we go. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. What the f... <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Cleared it! Oh! <laughs> you think you still have fun? Hell! <laughs> 310 knots. Yep. Wow! What you, oh, now comes man, I'm getting dizzy! Now comes the fun part. We might want to put a disclaimer on this episode. It may cause motion sickness. Shit. I've actually got the throttle coming back right now. You're going too fast! I'm, not, I'm telling you, the throttle's almost at idle. This is just the excess speed excess bleeding off here. We're putting three <laughs> Gs. I uh, know. <laughs> okay, this one is a bitch, so... I'm going to have to slow down for this one. All right, here we go. Hard left. Try not to slam. You're going to crash! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> All right, so we can... Are we still flying? Yes, we are. <laughs> Barely. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, my God. I hate that. Tell you what, just get some altitude. Just get some altitude. Get some altitude. Recover. Try it again. Uh, never say die. I gotta try that again. All right. So just go ahead and put yourself back where we were. <laughs> All right. Um, you can see what's below us, right? If you look off to the left. Yes. Yeah, that's that first turn there that I was talking. Oh. Well, I tell you that's what, we can just skip. Oh, that's wow. Yeah. Oh exactly. uh, yeah. Tell you what, let's just go ahead and um, what you can do is you can just pop. I, I see the turn. You can just pop up and we can just skip that one. Okay. Going too fast. Back it out! What are you doing? You're going too fast. The plane's going to break up. Alright, we don't need to do the bridge trick. No, we don't need to do the bridge. So, speed brakes are currently open, and let's see if we can pretend we're the skywalker and blow this shit up. Alright, speed brakes coming in. What's our speed? I don't know. I'm on the outside. Oh, okay. Well, that's two of us. <laughs> You're gonna crash again! No, I'm not. <laughs> this is not the corner. I'm telling you, it's coming up. You'll know it when we hit it. Literally. <laughs> I say, I say, just go ahead and uh, pop up over the over that uh, 
I know it can be done, man. I did it before. I did it twice before today. We were going too fast the last time. Yeah, what you need to do is give it some flaps. Okay, that's right. better. There you go. You're in charge of that. So, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing out this way. Right. This is the turn right here? This is the turn. Okay, I gave you one notch flaps. Give it gas. Thank you. I got full gas right now, and there we go. Now All right, we... flaps up. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. That is the hardest part. Are you sure? Yes. Look at that. Go up, up, up. Stalling, stalling. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, we're still going. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're still flying. Well, we have crash detection off, that's why. Oh. All right, so carry on. Give it gas. Um, hold on. All right, you got I'm speed to recover. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to My bad. Over there, I thought I was, like, getting all turned around. Oh. I'm telling you, this is so much easier in the F-16. You've done this in the F-16? Yes, I did it last night. I hear you with the small phone. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull back the speed a little bit here. This, this one is going to be another sharp one. So, here we go. Alright. Okay, looking good, looking good. We're almost out. This last turn here should be the last of those sharp corners. And then it's going to get really shallow and really wide. Right, right. There we go. And then it opens up. Right. And it only took us, what, two tries? And one very angry chief that's probably going to yell at me. <laughs> oh, backing out, backing out. Oh, yeah, I should probably put the uh, speed down from that. Okay, so this is where the Colorado River gets smaller, and basically we're just following this really skinny line. Yeah, well, you can follow that line at a, at a much higher altitude. Well, yeah, you know it's all shallow, because I'm not going in there. Not. Yeah. I'm going to wait till it opens up a little bit before we start going in there. Because there are actually some really scenic areas a little further down. But for now, we're just going to follow it like right over the top here. Okay. We'll get some outside shots. This area is a little bit deeper. The hard part is picking out where the river is in this uh, terrain texture. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because it's so small now and it doesn't have the actual water texture on there. It's just like the usual painted on FSX texture. Right. Alright, this I believe is going to be a sharp left, so here we go. Alright, there we go. Okay. Oh, you're going to stall, watch it! Pick up! Alright, the elevation is also going up and down. It's yes, I've stall. noticed that, yeah. You're back, you're back a bit. Oh, this was exhilarating in the F-16, too. That sucker took them corners like it was nobody's business. Well, this that's is a little bit squirrely. Probably fly. because it's a trainer. Right. So fly-by-wire is four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It earned its paycheck last night. All right. I think I'm going to go inside the cockpit here for a second. What are we at? 250 knots. Okay, well, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. 250 knots is fine considering how wide it is. It's just those shallow areas, or I shouldn't say shallow, those skinny, narrow areas, that's where we have the problem. Uh-huh. Alright, flip us around this way. Now the other half of this from Grand Canyon Airport on towards Vegas. That's all you open. Can easily do in a Tomcat. 
that's like that's what I was thinking. I, I had no idea you were planning on going through such uh, narrow, uh, <laughs> tight turns in the canyons. Because I was thinking something more open, you know? Yeah. But I love stuff like this. I mean, I'm glad it's virtual. I'd never do this in real life, but I love stuff like this. It really tests your metal. And just so you're aware, I'm staying in this shallow pool area. I am not going down there where the Colorado is. That's just not happening. Okay, the river goes to the left. I would love to see this in real life as well. Oh, you know what I was just thinking? Um, let me think. YFS, I can... Oh, shit. You know what? Keep flying. This has YFS server... Uh, uh, transmitting keep uh -huh. flying so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna fire up YFS client which should see it and then uh, YFS client same class of program already running let me see if instructor station will pick it up because if it does I can go ahead and fire up Google Earth and just lay it lay one on top of the other oh really oh okay uh, if, if it's connecting uh, uh, YFS waiting for connections all right so it's not picking it up uh, hang on. Let's try it again. Same task already running. MS main. Okay, so it's not re recognizing it. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe it's because we're in a multiplayer session. But what I was thinking is, um, what I was thinking is, uh, I could have had, um, I could have had, uh, if I had instructor station loaded on my other computer, uh -huh. I can go ahead and fire up Google Earth and zoom in, and it will actually uh, show the path of the, uh, the aircraft along the surface of the Earth in Google Earth. Oh, no kidding. Oh, wow. That's cool. So it would be awesome for this, you know. Yeah. But this is pretty cool. You know, flying uh, in the middle of these canyons. Yeah, I'm telling you, that land class thing that I downloaded really did wonders, because it's a lot better than the default uh -huh. FSX, but it's not nearly as frame intensive as the Orbix thing that I had on here. You want to know it would be awesome also? With FS, uh, this would have to do this with uh, a, a later version of FS Recorder, but with the virtual cameras in FS Recorder, you can specify the longitude and latitude position to place the camera. Oh, so like a race cam or something? Exactly. So anywhere along these ridges, yeah. all you have to do is go in uh, skyvector.com or Google Earth and pick out a spot with the uh, longitude and latitude punch that into FS Recorder and it will put a camera right there and that you can record it with the plane going by. That is so cool. In, oh. the, ca in the canyon, yeah. That is pretty cool. So. Yeah, because I sure as hell wouldn't try doing a flyby camera here right now, not unless you want to end up in that mountain over there. Yeah, that would look so good. Uh, or, what you could do is, you could also do a, a top-down view. Yeah, top-down would probably look good as well. But I mean, you're the one who's recording, so if yep. you have that capability, Look, see, and see what it looks like. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna give us some gas before we fall out the sky again. There we go. So here's what. Oh, oh, still. Whoa! What are you doing? I have to turn this way. There we go. There's a the river. All right. <sighs> yeah, it's getting a little bit deeper in this side here, so I'm having a little yep. difficulty seeing the river. Okay, here we go. I see it now. I thought you said the rest of this was easy. It is easy. Would you like to be down there? No, 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 no. Yeah, you're <laughs> okay, right. then it's yeah. easy. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Careful. Yeah, basically, all I'm doing is just following the river at this point. But I'm trying to stay below, um, I guess, the plateau level. The, ri the ridge, exactly. So you can have that s the, the, uh, the scenic effect. Right, right. Here. We should almost be there actually now that I'm thinking about it. Well, it was only 60 miles. It's really not that far. We should. Well, the flight plan is in the HSI. So, um, and yeah, as I recall, we, we should be going south. So, yeah, we're still on the right path. Yeah, the only problem with that is the flight plan, I don't think, takes into consideration all these questions. Because no, it doesn't. It doesn't the flight plan go by either the ORs or no? Well, uh, passing that. Right. Come 
According to my G's! Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Alright, let me get us out of here a second because I'm having a loading issue here. Where the scenery's taking forever to load. So, get a little bit of altitude. We might have to come up to the ridge level here. And yeah. let's see. All, all you do is to get the flight plan with all the points, you don't need VORs or NDBs or anything. Just go to skyvector.com and when you plot a waypoint, you can select geographic coordinates. Okay. It'll give you the longitude and latitude. Then when you uh, create your nav log, just cut and paste over the sim brief. Mm -hmm. And sim brief plots it out uh, in the sim brief flight plan, which you can export to FSX. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. And yes, we are getting to Grand Canyon uh, National Park because I'm starting to see green. The that whole area has green. Like, there's a lot of trees and stuff like that. So, as soon as we are completely within the green area, I'm going to pop up and get ready for our landing. Okay. So, should be pretty darn close. Alright. Uh, let's see. Can we do this without pulling too much? Jeez. Yep. Yep. I think that was a success. The scenery looks awesome on my end, and I'm getting good frames. About 25. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm getting a little bit of loading, but I think that's probably because I was going too fast earlier, so I uh, was kind of overshooting everything. But it's starting to catch up now, so it's starting to look good again. Yep. Usually my test to see how well I'm doing is to do like a quick Ooh. snap roll. What are you doing? I don't know. Snap roll. Uh, okay, <laughs> cool. Because <laughs> how fast it takes me to do that usually determines how much scenery loss I'm having. Whatever. Right. Yeah, see, this is a speed I was, uh, this is a speed I was anticipating you'd fly the, uh, early part of the flight at, about two, 220 to 250. Right. Anything more than that, you're gonna pull too much G's and back, back out. Yeah, that first part is interesting, shall we say. Yeah. But you can see the rest of this is easy. It's really uh, good. relatively. Uh, yeah. let me see here. F-16... Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I have the plan, so... Oh, you want to do it again in the F-16? No, well, no, what I'm saying is I can give it a shot on my own oh. at some point. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. When I did it last night, I'm telling you, it was so easy. And you didn't crash? No, not at all. Because I had enough maneuverability and enough speed so that I can actually pull, a, pull around and pull out if I need to. <laughs> but this thing is a lot less powered, so you're like sliding all over the place. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, you gotta love that fly-by-wire. Alright, we should be pretty close. Hold on, let me see what the map says. Are you even sure we're in the right canyon? Yeah. yeah we're following the Colorado River. No, we're following a river. It is the Colorado River. Alright, hold on, let me pop up then. Let me see if this thing helps. Uh, okay, look around us, do you see any green? Okay, stand by. You're asking somebody who's colorblind. Just make sure we don't oh. stall. Yeah, we're not gonna stall. We're going fast enough. Okay, what's our speed? 24. Alright, go ahead and level off. Alright, leveling off. Uh, did you say green? Green. You know, like I think trees. it's off, off, to the off to the right. Yeah, I think I start seeing it now. Okay, yeah, there it is. I yeah. actually have the arrow pointing to where the airport is, so I just need to rotate us around and we should see it. Let me see here. Yeah, because I'm thinking we should be in the right neighborhood. Um, if I had to guess, I would say probably off to... Oh, wait, what did you do? Oh, shit! I... Is, it, is it changing yours also? Yeah, my HSI just disappeared. Ah, oh, crap. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. HSI. There you go. Okay. Alright, All right. should be off to the left. Yep. Okay, so, let me take a quick look outside. Uh, go ahead and make a turn to about two, uh, 220. Left to about 220. Okay. That'll get us back in our course. 
Assuming that line through the edges size of flight key. Mm, I think that's because I haven't changed. But yeah, you do have a flight plan that ends there, so right. if you have flight plan selected on your HSI, it um, should show where we're going. Uh, It should be the center left MFD. It says P L A N. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, it's on. That's it. All right, you're on the right course now. All right. So then we should be seeing the airport coming up sometime relatively soon. But I'm trying to think. Isn't there a way to zoom out the uh, the range of this thing? Yeah, it is the lower right hand button, like at the bottom, I believe. Sorry. The lower right hand button? Yeah, the MFD button should be the range. I know that's what it is in the Tomcat. I'm assuming he used the same thing for this. No, uh, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, GPS, that's having to do with the navigation. Alright, I see scenery up ahead. I think this. There's is the airport, airport right there. You see it? Okay. It's off yeah. to 11 o'clock. Yeah. All right, let me start bringing us on course here. Go ahead and cut on the track. So, how do you feel about landing this sucker? You're better at it than I am. Um, let me go ahead and hop into the front seat. Right. I'm in the front seat. All right, go ahead and give me control. Okay, shift T. Do I have to take control? Yes, you do, shift T. Shift T. Okay. All right, let me make Lights sure I have the stick. All right, I got the stick. All right, uh, 13,000 feet. What's the altitude? Is? Well, I can just land it down. Because uh, um, <coughs> I got the GPS here, so I can pull that up. Didn't get a weather briefing, did we? Uh, no. No, we did not. Uh, but, oh, uh, wait, no, I can't even... Shit, I was just going to say, I could probably... Um, Okay, here it is. Well, GCN is at 6,609 feet above sea level. 6,700. Okay. Yeah. Well, technically 6,600. Okay. Uh, we took off on... Is it 33? So we're coming yes. in on 21. We are coming in on 21, right? right. We're going to have a cross. All right, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's the one that I came in on last night, too, so it should be good. I've got the GPS up now. And we are looking pretty damn good. Okay, cool. Alright, All right, some speed brakes. Alright, speed brakes. I got it, I got it. Okay. Alright. Let's see what our speed looks like. We're at 216. Yep. Here is a lot thinner up here. Um, go ahead and give me gear down. Gear coming down. Verify that. Three down and locked. Okay. Yeah, we got a crosswind. Um, Let me know when you're ready for flaps. Uh, we're so high up. Yeah, let me think. Um, let's break again. If you drop below 200, I'm dropping flaps. Give me one notch. There we go. Alright, flaps one notch. Okay, we should be able to do it with this. What's the uh, landing speed of this thing? I forget. Uh, it's about 135, 140, but we're so, we're so much higher up. Yeah, that's true. That the number is going to be artificially high. Right. Well, so far, you're looking good. All right, give me another. Give me full flaps. Full flaps coming. Full flaps high. All right. Yeah, we've got some serious wind out here. Uh huh. Ah, oh, such a beautiful airport. Such a beautiful town. And all them trees off in the distance. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks fast. nice. <laughs> Alright, crossing the threshold. Okay. Throttles to idle. Yeah. Get my flare. The left rudder. 
and I got the speed brakes out. The speed brakes out. Thank you very much, sir. Right down the line. All right. Let's give it some uh, brakes at 80 knots or 90 knots. Uh, yeah. You know, we're kind of running out of runway, but we right, we'll be that. fine. We'll be fine. This thing breaks pretty good. It's just a long taxi back, though. <laughs> There's like nothing on this side of the airport. It's yeah. all back up there. All right, here we go. All right, I think we got this. See if you can see a windsock around here. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. The windsock is also back on the other side of the airport. Oh, so there is a windsock. Uh, I think so. Okay. Wait, are we on a taxiway or are we on a grass? Because it looks like we're on a grass. To me. <laughs> In my scenery, we're on the, we're on a taxiway. Okay, well, I'm going to take your word for it. I thought you had the FTX uh, thing. I thought I did, too. I, I ran it, and it installed. Okay. Oh, maybe I do need to go you into Senior and activate it. didn't add it in the Add Scenery. That's what it was. Yeah, I need to go into Senior and activate it. That's probably Because why. you should be seeing a whole bunch of Cessnas way off to the left there, as well as a fire station, a blue hangar, and a terminal building all the way on the opposite side. Okay, hang on a second here. Um, is that something I can do while we're in a session? No. You sure? Yeah, you'd have to back out of the session to do that. Okay. And I lost my mouse. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and taxi back. Flaps up. Oh, I should probably put the speed brakes in, too. Uh, put the speed brakes in, yep. Alright, flaps are up. Speed brake is in. And we're about to go through a chain link fence. Uh, <laughs> in your world. In my world, yeah. In my world, we're, we're, we're good. Yeah, there's nothing here in my world. Oh. I boy. wonder why there's so much difference between what the default FSX is and, you know, what all the add-on people do. Because, I mean, if all they're doing is just enhancing the area, wouldn't they all have the same basic dimensions? Well, I want to say uh, Microsoft's FSX default scenery is based on low-res satellite imagery, isn't it? Ah, that's the answer. Okay. Okay, so yeah, they done messed it up, as usual. Yeah, M Microsoft, uh, they just got some uh, some basic uh, aerial mapping and, you know, mm. and slice and dice and put that together. Well, all things considered, the land class that they have for the United States is a hell of a lot better than anywhere else in the world. You go to Asia and it looks like freaking skate park. It, it doesn't even look like mountains. Mm -hmm. It looks like little skate parks. You want to know what's funny? When me and Kirkland did the uh, our trip across the world mm. and the, in the FS2004, and I'm not sure if this means anything, but all the runways in Africa were bumpy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They probably didn't even bother to use the, the code that they have to make everything flattened out. You know, as if to say African airports have crappy runways, which might be the case, but... <laughs> well, some of them, I'm sure they do, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Um, we're just going to tax it to that tower. Okay, well, I see a tower, but it's not the one we're heading to, <laughs> but that's all right. I won't take any pictures of the evidence of us going across the grass. Oh, see, here's the other reason why you need this FTX installed. Uh -huh. I see a firefighter dude and another dude talking over by the station. I'm taking a picture <laughs> right now. And you can see there's parts of the grass where they need to get a lawnmower up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this stuff needs to be cut. I'm taking a picture of that. Alright. There's a couple of white dudes over there, and they're just kind of standing there like, what are those guys doing going across the grass? Alright, this is what we're going to do. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and park at the uh, by the tower, and then we'll go ahead and kill the multi -ses multiplayer session, and then I'm going to go ahead and fire up my, uh, my uh, uh, scenery and add those, and then come back here and see what it looks like. Yeah, it should be in either your add-on scenery or you may have a folder that says Orbix. Um, but it should put in the library. You'll need the library, obviously, otherwise you can't see the buildings and the people. And you will need to activate the scenery itself. But both of them should be in there. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and park it right here. Well, that sounds good. All right. We're in the middle of a field. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brakes. Uh, let me go from the outside. Shift echo. Open up the window. Woo! Get a photo up. Uh, I'm gonna have to change around. my flights after that uh, last couple of times when I came in there. Wow! Look at that. Huh? And what kind of frame loss are you getting? Are you getting any frame loss at no, all? No, none. None. All right. Still well, getting 24 frames. There you go. 
All right. All right. Well, um, tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Say goodbye to the audience. I'll probably be about a week before I get to this one. But uh, uh, apart from crashing into the, the canyon walls, I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you would have told me we were going to do this in like a F-16 two set, I would have been like, no problem. I'll just gas it up and we'll go. But, but we don't. No. Do well. Have me flying a plane that I'm not used to flying. I know that's an excuse, but whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, sir. All right, man. Say goodbye to the audience. All right, folks. Uh, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk with y'all later. Ciao. Flight some guy here. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Thanks, man. We'll keep in touch.